Today we're going to be working on tight hips so that you can sit tall even with tight hips. Do you live here or here? Both are not ideal. Let's talk about the hips. Tight psoas can pull you forward and tilt your pelvis backwards. So you really need to strengthen the back muscles to pull yourself back upright and to sit tall once more. So you want to balance abs and back strength. Now our hips tend to be tight, so here's how to modify. I recommend that you use a blanket in your practice whenever you stay in a seated position. Fold it two times so that you have a nice four-layered blanket. Sit with your sit bones on top of it and start by rocking your pelvis forward and backwards. Feel your sit bones. You feel that you're rocking over them as you move forward and rocking over them once more as you move backwards. Once you find your center, you notice that your pelvis is nicely level with the ground. And stay right here. Turn on your back muscles, feel them engage to lift your heart upwards until it's before your chin. If you have tighter hips, use blocks to prop you higher so that your pelvis can be level and your spine can be nice and long. You can let your knees bend to allow more mobility in the hips, finding your center and that upright spine position. Go ahead and practice a forward fold from here. You can use either of these props if you have tight hips in all your seated poses but also modify the poses to fit your current body condition and hip tightness. For example, when the heel is too close towards the hips, the pelvis tilts back. So slide the foot further away and bring the pelvis back to neutral. So here we're practicing the twist, crossing the leg over at the thigh level, not aiming to take the foot in too close towards the hips, and then rotating the spine along its own axis. Keeping your attention on your spinal elongation, the crown moving away from the tailbone, keep the twist nice and small, not focusing on maximum twist, keeping pelvis level with the ground. And do a counter twist on the other side just to balance out. Take a moment to remember your core once more, your abs and your back muscles before re-entering the next pose. Marichasana. Now this pose may be difficult for many people, so don't force yourself into a bind. Instead, just let your breath take you there slowly. And grab your opposite hand only if it's right there. Alternatively, how about this idea? Reach your arms away from you towards the back. Instead of yanking and pulling your body into a contortion. Finally, we're going to work on the butterfly pose. Is this your butterfly? Notice if you are tilting your pelvis backwards and rounding your spine. If that's the case, consider sliding your heels further away from your pelvis. Tilt the pelvis back forward into a level position with the ground and stay here for your butterfly. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Thursday Tuna. If you like this, please share it with friends and please subscribe to our list at spiceyoga.com.